We are very excited for our next guest. I mean, very, very excited. Actor and comedian uh, Andrea Savage. She's the creator, writer, and star of the acclaimed comedy series, I'm Sorry. And she's also known for playing President Laura Montez, opposite Emmy winner Julia Louis-Dreyfus in the hit series Veep. Now, and here's the really, really exciting part, Savage is taking a dramatic turn in the new Paramount Plus series Tulsa King alongside movie legend Sylvester Stallone. He plays a New York mobster forced to rebuild his life in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Savage plays an ATF agent who develops, you could say, a complicated relationship with him. <laughs> it's a show that has already been renewed for a second season. It's only been out for about a month. Here's a clip. What happens in your work if someone loses their and puts their associate, someone who counts on them at risk? Probably wouldn't turn out so well. Do you remember the last time we were together? He said, you couldn't help me if I got jammed up. What can I say? I guess I'm at my job. <laughs> Andrea Savage joins us now. Good morning. Good oh, morning. I've been quoting the show and trading lines all morning. Not all of them safe for this kind of TV. Probably not. Yes. Probably not. But you're making very good TV on Paramount Plus, and we appreciate that. Uh, uh, Thank you. I'm happy you guys like it. We're very excited. Uh, Andrea Beal, ATF agent. Stacy Beal. Stacey Beal. Uh, and listen, ATF where agent. Andrea starts, Stacy ends. Ah, we don't know. Who knows? See, that's the Hard mark of a say. good actor. <laughs> How would you describe your alter ego, ATF <laughs> agent Stacy Beal? Oh, thank God I'm not Stacy Beal. Um, Stacy Beal is, um, listen, she's lonely. She similar to Sylvester Stallone's character, has been pushed into Tulsa, Oklahoma. And she is going through a divorce. She has no kids. She has no family. She I has no real friends. And she just has a connection only to Sylvester Stallone's character, who is much older than her and also a mobster. And she's an ATF agent. Yeah. And that's her only sort of little spark of joy. It's, it gets kind of messy. In the scene yeah. we saw, I will have to, I do point out, she didn't really have to give him that news in person, but I think she kind of likes him, even though she shouldn't, she even though shouldn't. she's on the side of the law. Listen, when you're lonely, your intentions might be different than your follow through. Yeah. Well, there's something magnetic about Sylvester's character. Um, there there's also something is. magnetic about, magnetic about him. Um, yes. But and sharing, her character. Yeah, but sharing the, the stage, if you will, with a guy like that, is it difficult? Because, I mean, it's, it's sly, sly, right? I was nervous, and I don't get nervous, but really? I definitely, we had not met before, and we were shooting the scene actually where I proposition him. Oh, wow. That's the first one. And that was thing. literally like, hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Here we go. Um, but we did like a little read through of the lines. And he kind of like did a little, like if I'm more of a gentleman, I wouldn't ask you that or whatever. And he did a kind of thing. That's just live voice right there? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's not good. Um, but then I was like, oh, are you a guy who just like talks with his hands a lot or something? And I kind of made fun of him a little bit. And I could have gone either way. And he laughed. And then we were kind of like off to the races. I mean, oh. You guys are both not only actors, but writers and creators. So did, was that a connection point? I think it was. I think because both of us do wear a lot of hats, we definitely thought about the scenes in similar ways. We both would come in with some ideas about maybe changing a line or why this or, yeah. It, I definitely feel like, I never thought I would say that I had a, would expect to say I had a lot in common with Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. It, we, but I was like, oh, we actually kind of are similar in yeah. a lot of ways. So one of the things I love about this character is it's a tough, strong woman, um, but you have done these incredibly hilarious comedic roles. We were talking in the green room about that. I loved her in Step Brothers. Yeah, you and of I course. talk about Step Brothers all the time. Classic. And you were saying, and you were incredible in V, but you said that, you know, you've never seen, you've only seen Step Brothers once. I've only saw it once at the And premiere. so when dudes come up and like, that's People come up wild. to me all the time and they quote lines at me. The most I inappropriate stuff. No idea what they're saying. They'll be like, I traveled 3,000 miles to give you my seat. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I, excuse me? Oh, man. And then you're like, I, oh, you gotta shoot your shot the way you can and, shoot it. Exactly. <laughs> And then it, they're like, weren't you in Step Brothers? And I was like, oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Thank yeah, you. that one movie yeah, yeah, yeah. that has a cult following. Yes. <laughs> so uh, what's it like now in, in this sort of non-comedic role? I mean, there are some, there's some dark comedy. Do non -comedic yeah. There's some dark comedy. But. Uh, well, I wanted to do, I've pretty much only done comedy. Um, after I'm Sorry, we got, you know, middle of shooting season three, shut down the pandemic, then we got caught in a merger and all this stuff happened. 
And after that, I was like, I'm not ready to go back onto a comedy. I want to do something that kind of scares me. I was like, I need something at this point in my life that I haven't done before where I'm nervous and also terrified mm. at the same time. Speaking well. of something that's scary, um, <laughs> being a parent to a teenager is scary. Yeah, I got a 13-year-old. As, oh, as we know. A teenage girl. I have a 13-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. do you my find... My stories are not safe for TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not anecdotes. sure mine are either. Yeah. Do you find some humor in that, though? You know what? I found it, to be honest, funnier when she was younger. Because that's when they say things that you're just like, oof, that's tough to hear out. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what I mean? Or, you know, you'll be like sitting in your jeans with maybe a little flesh coming over and she's like, why is that happening on your body? <laughs> like, okay. That's when they're little, they say that. Oh, so yeah. She speaks well, they, her mind. They had no filter. Now she's Wait. just, now I'm just the most embarrassing human that's ever existed. Yeah, Even is, though you're the coolest mom ever. That that's what I tell her. As well. And you're in a very, very hit show for Paramount Plus, and we appreciate care. that. Andrew, <laughs> well, that's, that's teenager vibes. Yeah, that's not teenager vibes. Interesting. It's what they do. Uh, we, we, care. we care. Thank we do care. We appreciate it. Guys, Savage. you're all my new children. Thank you very much. <laughs> the new episode of Tulsa King. I don't know. I've seen I'm Sorry. I'm not sure about that. Uh, <laughs> this Sunday, exclusively on Paramount Plus, which, like CBS, is a division of Paramount Global.